Hey there, this is the Japanese Retro Game Center with another YouTube video. If you saw my tweet earlier, you saw that I was going to put a um, video up about some retro game finds. So I was able to go retro game hunting today and found a couple things. Um, out of all that, I'm just going to look at a couple and they're controller based. So that's why I thought I'd show you this shot. These are actually controllers already in my store. Um, they're in my eBay store with the uh, Japanese Retro Game Center. If you look up um, Japanese Retro Game Center or if you look up my uh, username, Ikemen Gamer, because I am Ikemen after all, um, you should be able to find me in like a Dreamcast, Clear Blue, Japanese, Clear Blue, Aqua, N64 controller, Pikachu controller, the blue and, blue and yellow one there. I got some uh, GameCube controllers. Of course, I have all kinds of controllers in my store. Those are just a few. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to look at a couple controllers today. Um, one just real quick, and then another one we're going to take an in-depth look at. So, the first uh, one, the sub one here. Uh, this was just neat. I had to pick this up. Just picked this up today. The SNK uh, Neo Geo controller. This is the uh, this is the Pro one. Alright, so there's a Neo Geo, was it, Pro controller, right? A, B, C, D controller so for the uh, CD system I think it works for the um, AES as well so there's that this will be in my store sometime shortly I basically bought it just to say that I had it at least once for a little bit gotta love that clicking sound right arcade style controller well that's a Neo Geo right so that's the that's the B course right so the main course is this this is the Hypershot gun. There's um there's the Hypershot controller for the Hyper Olympics, which is the track and field by Konami. So there there's that thing, and then there's this Hypershot, which is the Beast. So this is made by Bandai, as you can see. So this is another gun for the Famicom. Um, just to compare, here is the original. This is the regular Nintendo Famicom gun. It's a Western style, right? It's pretty cool. It has a clicking with the back and everything like that. And it's a laser. And of course, just for comparison, there's the, uh, this is the American NES gun. And of course it has the different end, which would work, I guess, maybe in the new Famicom. But then the Famicom has the, uh, has the different extension port, right? Plug on it. And then we have this. So I got this today and, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Got it in the box. The box is in decent shape. It has some wear and tear on the ends, unfortunately, but not too bad. It's a flimsy box to begin with, like, uh, so it's real thin. Like, there's different types of cardboard and stuff, and this is, this is kind of the thin kind, so it's going to have wear and tear, but considering, um, what does it say? I looked at it earlier here. It says, yeah, 1989, so a box from 1989. Um, it's held up all right. So, this is the box. So let's take a look at the box before we open it. So, Hyper Shot. And it even has uh, English on here. Zoom in. Very super exciting computer game and a bodily sensation system. Electric weapon. Alright. So this is a sexy gun right here. That nice kind of English sort of deal. Um, so you can see the gun. It's kind of a machine gun. It looks like something out of, like, Predator. And this is a box. It's a box set with Space Shadow, as you can see. It has some of the game footage right there. It says what's in the box, which hopefully everything's in here. So the gun, of course, and the cassette, the ROM cassette, which is the Space Shadow, of course, and then the instruction manual for it. And at the bottom, I'll say at the bottom here, it says it takes the, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, the Con 2, right? Con D Dench, right? So the uh, AA batteries, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is sold separately, so. And they say they last about 40 minutes in the gun. And here it has, it actually has it in English right here. Okay, and let's look at the sides here. Same thing, just in red instead of uh, black and red. 
red and white here, but the same, same thing, same English right there. Uh, same thing on the back, that bodily sensation there. Here it goes through the back. It shows some more Game of the Clips, the Famicom, where you hook up the gun. As you know, on Famicom there, you have to hook it up in the front on the extension port since the regular controllers are wired in. Um, has this, talks about the game a little more over there. Space Shadow. What's this? Alright. Bandai Kurashi Kill Shih Tzu, huh? Alright. So I was looking at this. It's like some kind of like, um, inspirational message or something. Um, yeah, something about washing your face, um, putting your, putting your pajamas away, stuff like that. Alright, so be a good boy. Here's the warning. So, I saw we see you need to my show. So, uh, be good to your eyes, right? So, this is, this is one of those pretty, uh, Pokemon warnings there. Um, bottom of the box, all the bot, the sides are pretty much the same. And the front and back is the main. And here it actually goes through everything. So this gun has a control, right? It has a control key, right? The control pad. The sub trigger, which is the B, start and select. It has like the scope and the actual gun. and um, Main trigger, which is the A button. It's a sound system speaker. Right? So that's pretty cool. Battery box is on top. All right, rear sight, front sight. Yeah. So that's all on there. All right, so that is the box. That is very cool, but it's no fun just looking at the box. Let's unbox it. So, hang on for a second here. Paper shot. I can already tell you, I like this hyper shot better than the other hyper shot. Sorry, Konami, but this is way cooler. Alright, so unboxed it. So Styrofoam City, right? Alright, so it had a little cover here. Let's pull that off. Oh, there's the instruction manual. Hyper shot with, of course, Space Shadow. I think it said Volume 1 on there somewhere. Alright, 1989. So Space Shadow is a quick look. At the instructions, so mostly pictures, very detailed. Place for notes. Um, very simple and lots of detailed pictures. So, all right, I haven't played this game before, so uh, if I can make another video later, I will of the gun and the and the game. But for now, we'll see. See if it works with the other like duck hunts and stuff too. So there's the game. Let's look up somewhere up there. Game's in great shape. Bandai, uh, the Bandai games with those white labels like that, they're infamous for like some really bad fading, but it looks good. Uh, it's got the sticker on top, looking good, and it's got a nice little place for it there. So leave it right there. We've got a spot here, not sure what it's for, there wasn't anything in there. The cables right there, and of course the gun. So let's pull this, um, and of course right here. All right, same plug, right, for the fan comes up front. So we know we're good there. Let's pull this beast out. There we go. Take a look at that. All right. So it has some of the levers and stuff like your uh, machine gun would do. I've actually used that M16 before, the rifle when I was in the military. And same, it's kind of kind of similar there, except it's actually just... It's just plastic, hard plastic built in there. Um, and it goes through and says body vibration system right there. Breeder type reactor. All right, so this is this is really getting into it, right? Um, and like I said, there it has a semi-safe auto, which is like standard, like on a machine gun. Um, so very well detailed. So now I know why this thing was so expensive, huh? Body vibration system. Start and select it right there. So this was the A button, main trigger A button. This little nubbin right here. Yes, I just said nubbin. Um, it's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it right there. 
that is actually works as the control pad. So I guess you could, if you need something with the control pad, this game might have a use for it. I'm not sure, but it is there. And then this acts as the B button right there. How you doing? Front sensor, right? And the zapper part, rear sensor, right? Aims through that bad boy right there. Looking good. And I don't have my screwdriver on me right now, but it looks like that the batteries will go right there and on top. So even though you plug this into the Famicom, I guess it needs batteries. All right, so there you have it. Little gun, big gun. So let's compare size there. All right. Let's compensate, huh? All right, so there's the Here's the, here's a comparison, so the NES Zapper, right, is a little bit bigger than the Western Famicom gun, but then we have this beast right here, which just is bigger than, bigger than both of them combined, right? So, there you go. Um, if I can, I'll get another video of actual gameplay, but for now, just enjoy this, the Hypershot made by Bandai for the Famicom. That's it for now, see you soon.